Day 319. I feel like today he's coming back to a little bit of a lower number. Just stressed out with work. A lot of people called in. There was about, I think, seven people called in out of the 20 that were there at the office normally. Seven today and seven yesterday, and obviously the same seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. But <clears throat> I think just frustrating knowing. I guess the way that it happens. If it's a vacation, hey, I'm feeling sick, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Feels like it's planned, or is just getting to notice the day of again and again and again and again and again for the last four or five weeks. It seems a little ridiculous. I think that's what gets frustrating. And it feels like I'm responsible for their work. And again, the point where I just want to be responsible for my work. <laughs> like, give me the work you want me to do, I'll do it the best of my ability, and that's it. I'm going to just put more, more reinforcement of why I'd like to find something else to do for work. Anyways, I feel like it's a little bit of a, a negative Nelson moment, but it feels like it's bringing the day down to... I guess, like, not quite a five, but a really, really low six. And I just could not wait to get out of there. And right after work, I was like, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. And I didn't really want food. I wanted cookies and donuts. So I got those. I got the Chewy Chips Ahoy cookies. And then a dozen of the chocolate cake donuts, which I don't necessarily want them all. I just wanted five or six cookies and then at least one cake donut. But you can't buy five or six cookies and a single donut. Well, you can buy a single donut, just not a single one of these kind. <laughs> you have to buy them in a dozen. So I just bought it and I said, you know what? I'm here, might as well buy regular food. So I bought some chicken strips. I bought some turkey burgers and I bought some turkey sausage, turkey sausages. And is it all? That was it. Yeah. So I got those. So I can have a little something for lunch tomorrow or dinner for us for the weekend. And I had a friend that invited me to go to California. I was excited to go for the last few weeks. And then this week has just been a mental drain. And I think financially, it, unless I want to put everything on my credit card and not pay it off right away, I could go. But right now, I think trying to go to California and then in three weeks go to Florida, I don't think it's financially in my best interest to do so, even though mentally I would like to get away for a bit. I think it would be helpful. But as of right now, it's, <clears throat> it's not really the plan. And I'm going to try to be take this as a glass half full and think of this as positive reinforcement as to why I want to work for myself again and find my own job and find my own... my own income revenue, my own way to bring in income so that I can be responsible for the work that I do and not have to lean so much on others or have my work be dictated so much by others and their ability to to be there or not. I know we all get sick, but it's just, again, like the last four or five weeks, it's been a lot of call-ins, kind of the same people. <laughs> So I can understand if it was going around and everyone in the office <clears throat> kind of had the flu or the cold or COVID, whatever it was, but it's like the same, same people. <laughs> Anyways, 
On a brighter note, came back, played with a pup, took her on a nice little walk, tried to get the laser pointer out, but she was hearing something. She got distracted and there must have been a lot more noise that I couldn't hear. And she just kept looking around. You could definitely tell she was worried. It's like, calm down, we're okay. So we try to give her a little hug, reassure her that we're fine. We're just out there to play, prepare to go to the bathroom. It didn't help too much. I got her to chase the light for maybe two or three seconds. And then she again was just on the lookout. She's like, I hear something. I hear it. And she went to the restroom real quick and then she was pretty much ready to go. So I put the put the leash back on her harness and then right away she pawed the gate and that's kind of her sign like hey I'm ready to go which I appreciate that good girl good girl we're okay calm down let's go for a walk and then she just went out and then beelined it straight to the back of the apartment so decided to play with her a little bit more inside we played catch for a bit we'll try to wear her out and then went to the group run and there was only Sarah, Alicia, Christine, Rose, Richard, Lucy, myself. Seven. Seven of you. <laughs> but it was a smaller group. I know there's a lot. Getting ready for the rock and roll race this weekend. I want to say there's at least ten people in that running group that are going. So I think Maybe they just didn't want to go today because they were trying to recover or they were sick. I know at least one of them for sure, I was told, was sick from COVID. So one from COVID, one just like the flu. So I don't know. I can imagine there's a lot more going around and then me and a couple other runners were saying you know normally on Thursday night this parking lot is really crowded and this is like the last time in like two almost three years where it's been not empty but maybe about 80 percent 70 to 80 percent capacity where normally we get there and we're fighting for those last three or four spots in the back of the parking lot or in the very corner or across the street because <laughs> that's how busy that little site is with the new restaurant coming in well there's actually two new restaurants right in there like next to each other so yeah but there's seven of us we were all chatting a little bit Lucy showed up right at the end and I barely caught her I saw someone out of my peripheral as we were walking towards the light to start the run and I could see that she was like tying her shoe or putting her key somewhere something like that that's what it looked like like tying her shoe or putting your key in like a little slip pocket of your shoe or like adjusting your light whatever it was and I was like Lucy she's like yeah yeah it's me what was your name again like oh it's Dave she's like sorry I'm like don't feel bad you know again you're remembering trying to remember 20 names or we're remembering one it's easy to remember the one. <laughs> and so we just say, hey, how's it going? What are you going to do? She's like, I don't know. I want to do a 20-mile race or a marathon. I think she just said she finished a 20-mile run. And she, she, got, she hit the wall halfway in. And was like, oh, man, that's not good. Did, did you turn around? She's like, no, no, I kept going. I'm like, dang, good for you for building that mental toughness and keep chugging along. When we talked a little bit about the race coming up, we were saying so the two or three runners there that we're going to join the half marathon. And then after about not quite half a mile, maybe like a third of a mile, it's like, anyone else going to go? I'm going to take off, pick up the pace. No, we're good. So, I'm like, all right, we'll see when you get back. But it was nice that we caught them. It's always it stinks to be that last runner that you're looking for the parking space running a little bit late, your watch isn't charged, or not charged, synced up yet. And you're trying to catch the group, and they just take off on you. So I'm glad we kind of slowed down. And we were able to get one more in the group to have someone to run with. 
but the splits for the day, again, the first third of the mile was with the group, so it was 808. And I just picked it up and I was like, let me just see how my legs feel. And then I went to 713 for the second mile, 707 for the third mile, 711 for the fourth, back down a little bit to 703 for the fifth, and I finished with a 659, which is good. I, I thought about maybe doing some strides afterwards, like six to eight good strides, almost like 20 second on, 20 second off. But that last half mile, I could feel my left leg tighten up, but I'm just thinking, okay, I could, this is something I could push through, but if it starts hurting more, I'm going to be injured for longer than a day or a week. It could easily be like three or four weeks before I can bounce back. So I'm just going to take it easy, just hold it here. And I finished at six and a half miles. Average pace was 716, so a little bit faster than normal, but good enough for today. And plan is to run lighter tomorrow and then have a good 10, 11 mile run on Saturday. Sunday, I'm not sure. Since I'll be in town, I told my friends I'd go cheer them on, support them at the half marathon. I think there's two running the full. So it would be nice to see everyone. A lot of the paces are kind of scattered. I think some of them are, you know, my buddy Bryant's shooting for 545, 550 pace. And then, <clears throat> gosh, who else is in there? Uh, Christine that was there today, I don't remember what pace she said. She's aiming for, she just said she's running it. She's been a little consistent, so I'm sure she's probably just going to run a little bit slower and just try to finish. Gary, I'm not sure. Uh, my buddy Richard that was there today, he said he's shooting for 7.30 pace. Something like that. And then Brandon, no, no, no. He was shooting for an hour to run hour 40. Bryant was trying to do sub hour 30. So Brandon's an hour 30. Yeah. How many, who else is running? My buddy Jason's running. I think he's trying to get under two hours. Two hours, ten minutes. Somewhere in there. And Helen's run the full. I don't know if she told me a time. I think she's just trying to finish. So. Lots of good runners there. Lots of good chances to run well. Should be good warm weather. Everyone seems to be doing... Good. They just gotta stay healthy the next couple of days and they'll be good to go. <sighs> and with that, oh, the other thing is I went and got sushi, saw my friend Sunny, and we got to chat for about half an hour. Had a Philadelphia roll and the surprise roll. And Philadelphia just has the cream cheese with salmon, or salmon with cream, salmon with cream cheese rather. And then Surprise one, it has shrimp. I think there's a little bit of crab. I can't remember if there's a veggie in there or not. But then they have two kinds of sauce on there. And it's really good, really good. And so I just had that and had a glass of water and she brought out a little thing of cheesecake and gave me the tab. And I said, all right, here you go. Thanks, appreciate it. Hopefully you're doing well. I'll try to come in here more often and see you, but just things were tight right now. I just wanted to make sure I had the chance and had some money saved. And it was easy to go deep on sushi. I feel like I could easily eat four rolls, especially after a run. <laughs> so it's hard to go in there and just have two and walk away. <sighs> Tough to walk away when it's sushi so good. Anyways, <clears throat> push ups are done. Did 127. 127, 130 today, somewhere in there. There's a little bit more than 25 
slowly pushing the bar up. <laughs> I got the reading done. We're all set, ready for bed. It's 11.42. Hopefully get to bed a little early tonight, get well rested for tomorrow, long day. I feel like I'm gonna take in the cookies and the donuts and just say every time I get stressed out, I'm either gonna go for a walk or I'm gonna have a cookie or donut. <laughs> I don't know which one's gonna win. Sometimes I'm sure it'll be nicer to have a cookie and sometimes it'll be nicer to walk away from the desk and the computer. Anyways, that's it for tonight. Let's run your life with health and happiness and have a good night.